These are from an Audi R8. So welcome again to Autodesk Performance and today in this episode we are going to be talking about the LoRa 1.8 TSI. So we have done a few mods to this car already, unfortunately we weren't able to film them but I'm going to explain some of the mods done to this car but apart from that we are going to be fitting some Bilstein coilovers onto this car today. Uh, so we are going to show you the process of doing that. So let me first explain what all has been done to this car. So this is the engine bay of the LoRa 1.8 TSI and we've removed the engine cover, uh, it's right over here. So we've just removed it to show you something. So this thing over here, these are engine coils and fun fact, these are from an Audi R8. So uh, a lot of VAC cars can shift past from here and there from the VW parts bin. So you can fit Audi R8 ignition coils to a 1.8 TSI engine, very cool feature. Uh, but the biggest mod that this car has, at least in the engine bay, is this RAM air intake. So, first of all, one of the coolest features about a RAM UK air intake is that it's very uh, reusable. So, you can use it multiple amount of times, you can wash it also. And this construction around it is completely custom made for this car in particular. And it makes an insane intake noise. When talking about power gains from a component like this, you can expect somewhere around 10 to 15 bhp. Uh, on the website, they say that you'll get a 25 bhp gain, but that's usually for a 2 liter TSI engine. But this is a 1.8, so you can expect somewhere around 10 to 15 horsepower in that sort of RAM. Um, apart from that, you also have a complete exhaust system by Automac. So we'll talk about that more when we uh, take the car up onto the lift. So now we've taken this car up onto the lift and I'm going to show you the exhaust system that these guys have fitted. So come on down over here. Uh, this is a custom made Automac downpipe for this car, especially made for this car. So it's going to have a lot of power gains. Continuing down to the back, this is again stock. stock. There was a massive muffler over here which these guys have removed. So it makes a little bit more noise and the airflow is a little less restricted. And back over here, we have a Borla muffler and some tips. So this car sounds pretty sweet with this setup. And once uh, the whole tune and everything has been calibrated for this car, this is going to be one of the fastest 1.8 TSI's in the category, hopefully by the end of it. So let's see what this car can do. The Autodesk boys started to dismantle the suspension components, which meant taking off the wheels, loosening a lot of suspension parts, and it was a very tedious job. So, this is one of the coilovers that we're fitting onto the uh, LoRa. It's a Bilstein B14 coilover and I know it's looking a little dirty right now but it's a completely refurbished coilover so it's gonna work just like the new one. And it's actually off of Niranjan's old VW Jetta. So, it's gonna be in great shape nonetheless. So, the interesting fact about this coilover is that it's about the sleeve actually. So on the lower displacement cars, the sleeve has to be 50 mm. But if you want to put it onto a larger car with a larger engine like the LoRa, the sleeve has to be 55 mm. So since this was on the Jetta first, the Jetta had a smaller engine. So it had a 50 mm sleeve. So in order to fit this coilover onto the LoRa, they actually had to redesign this whole part so it could fit onto this and fit onto the LoRa. And as you can see, they've done a great job. It's a perfect fit looks just like the OEM one and yeah this is not going to create any sort of problems anymore and this was actually the only component we were waiting for such a long time while building this car so this is going to be an awesome little mod onto this car after the Bilstein coilovers were fit in 
We changed the worn out suspension bits like the link rods, tie rods and ball joints. We used Mele, okay, I do not know how to pronounce this company, but here it is. So we use these components which are as good as OEM parts. Once all of this was done, we started to put on Momo 17 inch rims. These rims will allow us to fit broader tyres onto the Lora and of course make it look so much nicer. After the setup was done, we can expect the car to push around anywhere between 210 to 220 horsepower. The difficult bit for the Lora during the drag race is to put the power down. It doesn't have an LSD or any fancy electronics like the newer Octavia VRS has. So the chances of the Laura winning is totally on the driver and that is going to need quite a lot of practice. So that is a different challenge for a different day. If you like our design and you want to look as fly as us at the Valley Run, you can check out our designs, other people's designs, the throttle stores their own designs on keychains, mugs, masks, t-shirts, anything you piston heads fancy at www.throttlestore.co.in www.throttlestore.co.in